Hello everyone, my name is Minette Aroy and I will be talking you through my summer REU project at the Molecular Imaging and Optical Nanotherapeutics Lab. In this study, we examined the optimal parameters of photodynamic therapy to counteract cancer desmoplasia. Desmoplasia is the presence of rich fibrous tissue, such as collagen, around a tumor. This causes significant barriers in drug delivery and ultimately leads to the overall chemoresistance and radioresistance of tumors. Our approach to this problem is to employ photodynamic therapy, or PDT, by using drugs called photosensitizers that are activated at a certain wavelength of light to reduce collagen density, thereby counteracting the effects of desmoplasia. In this study, we use second harmonic generation, or SHG, to visualize and quantify collagen signals in 3D cancer nodules. These nodules will undergo various light doses and photosensitizer concentrations to allow us to determine the optimal parameters of PDT to maximize cancer treatment. Now, how do we do this? We first start off by synthesizing and characterizing the photosensitizers that we use in the study. In this case, we use a nanolipid formulation of benzoporphyrin derivative, which I will refer to as LipoVPD, and rose bengal diluted in PBS. Upon examining their absorbances and emission spectra, we find that LipoVPD and rose bengal have peaks at approximately 690 nanometers and 555 nanometers respectively. These peaks tell us the appropriate wavelength of light needed to activate the drug. We then begin culturing 3D cell nodules using both monocultures of cancer cell lines and co-cultures with both cancer cells and fibroblasts, or collagen producing cells. After necessary incubation and addition of photosensitizers, we use an LED light box to administer the appropriate, appropriate light dose to the nodule for treatment. We then image the nodules through both SHG which will give us the collagen structure in each nodule, as well as confocal microscopy to determine cell viability. Finally, we use image analysis and data analysis techniques to quantify the results of our acquired images. So far, experiments to determine reactive molecular species generation and 2D cell viability have provided us a reasonable range of concentrations to use for our photosensitizers as well as appropriate PDT light doses to use for our experiments with the 3D nodules. Preliminary imaging of 3D nodules have also provided us some very interesting results. First, is that co-cultured 3D nodules with both cancer uh, cells and fibroblasts have shown that the addition of the fibroblasts can aid in the production of ECM, or extracellular matrix, allowing for cell-to-cell -cell adhesion this actually helps us mimic the desmoplastic environment in an in vitro model. Preliminary SHG imaging has also shown that not all combinations of cancer cells and fibroblasts produce strong collagen signals. Using this information, we were able to elect the use of ID8 cells of the mouse ovarian cancer cell line for the rest of our studies. Currently, we are in the process of acquiring images from second harmonic generation and confocal microscopy of our 3D nodules. After which, we will be performing data analysis to correlate PDT dose to the reduction in tumor nodule collagen. Ultimately, this will help us determine the best parameters of PDT to aid in tumor collagen disruption. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Have a nice rest of your day.